Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Fortnite related video. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about what I've enjoyed so far about Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. So as the start of the season dropped, we were given uh, like a little introduction video or teaser that basically informed us that building was going to be removed. And to be honest, it's one of the changes that I really enjoy. Like, to be honest, I'm not the best builder. I'm I'm not. I'm, I'm really not. Um... You know, you, you guys have seen my videos. I, I don't build a lot, but yeah, let's just let's just keep going. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not the best builder, but the fact that I've played like so much Call of Duty, I've played so much, um, you know, Battlefield as well as other shooters, that kind of thing. You know, I'm a pretty damn good shot for someone who's visually impaired. Um, and with building disabled, at least for the first week of the season, we don't have people running around building five-star hotels as soon as this, as soon as one bullet hits them or when they're being shot at. And it's actually really nice to see. Um, you know, Fortnite continues to remain unique. It has, it, you know, it still has its own style. It still has its own appearance. It still has its own reputation, all that stuff. Um, but having a no building mode available is a welcome change of pace. Um, it also brings back uh, all the players who, like me, you know, can't really build. Uh, or can't keep up with the building skill gap, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but it also entices new players from other Battle Royales like Apex and Warzone, etc. Uh, to come along and try it out. And from what I've seen on Twitter, the majority of the Fortnite player base is really enjoying building being disabled at the moment. And I count myself among them. Um, you know, I really hope Epic continue with a permanent no building mode uh, for solos, duos, trios and squads. So all the core game modes alongside the traditional core game modes. So if you've got, you know, the normal build like building enabled in solos, duos, trios and squads, then it makes sense to have a um, non building mode for the same four game modes. It's the same for uh, team, Rum team Rumble. I'd like to see Team Rumble um maybe having a non-building game mode as well i think that would be a pretty like really good addition as well two sides sort of like fighting for dominance sort of thing uh without the need of spamming builds and building taj mahals skyscrapers you name it it all happens in team rumble you guys have probably played the mode by now you know what goes on in team rumble uh but yeah who knows what what epic has in store for the future of fortnite ladies and gentlemen we might get that we might not let's see what happens so moving into some of the other things that I've enjoyed about this season, ladies and gentlemen, it's the new parkour movement system, which, again, background video is just a compilation of, um, you know, moments of, you know, clips that I've done to sort of go along with what I'm talking about in this video. But the new parkour movement system allows a player or a group of players to have the ability to scale walls somewhat, uh, provided there's a ledge there at the top of the character to like sort of mantle or grab onto and then push themselves up, like what has just been seen there in the background, in the video there in the background. Um, you know, it allows for, you know, it opens up an entirely new way of engaging gunfights. Um, it allows more flexibility and a lot more off angles that you normally wouldn't expect or predict players to be in, especially, you know, over the course of the last 20 seasons. Bear in mind, we're now in season... No, what? No, we're not. We're in season... We are in season 20 right now. So then the last 19 seasons have literally had people just sitting in one by ones, that kind of thing. Um, and with the new parkour system, you wouldn't really expect people to be able to sort of jump up onto a roof, take an off angle and be like, yo, playing a head glitch, lol, Call of Duty. Uh, but, that, <laughs> but that's basically, um, you know, that's basically what I'm trying to get at here. Like, it, it, it opens up an entirely new avenue of engaging in gunfights. Um, and yeah, it, it's something I've kind of taken advantage of. If, you know, if you've been watching the footage here in the, in the background video, um, you know, I've, I've found a few cheeky spots, you know what I'm saying? But another new addition to the game or this season uh, is the IO blimps or airships. It's a neat little addition uh, that is heavily reminiscent of the aerial stations back in, uh, I think it was the last few seasons of Chapter 1. Uh, it was something like Season 8 or Season 9. Um, and they had like, uh, Slipstream was, that, like, was in the game as well at the time. Um, and we had those alongside the aerial stations and you used to be able to fly up the sort of like the the, the downdraft from the engines you used to be able to fly up um, and sort of use it as a launch pad and yeah it just it, it basically adds a great amount of mobility the airships in season 
uh, chapter three, season two. Uh, it just adds a great amount of mobility and rotation throughout the map. So imagine you hot drop, um, you know, near Temple in the top right of the map, but the Storm Circle is down in Greasy Grove. Um, you know, you can just quickly run to Bugle, hop on the airship, take yourself straight to somewhere like Crossroads, and then use that airship there to head to the likes of Rocky Reels, and then use the airship at Rocky Reels to get to Greasy Grove, enabling you to get into Circle. So you can sort of like chain fly through the map so to speak to sort of rotate your way around to be able to um you know stay alive keep yourself alive that kind of thing it also allows you to get into gunfights a lot easier for example if you're already on the gunship and there's a gunfight happening say you know a couple of hundred meters to your left you can quickly use the um as again ex perfectly timed in the background video here is me quickly running uh to the airship or oh, i was already on top of the airship i run back into storm i quickly use the uh the sort of jet thrust from the engines uh to quickly engage in a gunfight in a in a, in a 1v1v1 gunfight here um and i again I, I mean i come out on top but it's that kind of thing especially if you're an aggressive player you can sort of take advantage of that and you can really get stuck into gunfights a lot easier and most likely get the drop on your enemy because they probably won't be expecting it I'm also enjoying having the thermal scoped AR back in the loop here, ladies and gentlemen. Having one of those, like, you know, having just one long range weapon in the game at the start of chapter three, which was the hunter's, which was the hunter sniper, um, was a very poor decision, in my opinion. No, you know, the hunter sniper wasn't exactly the best sniper in the game. Um, it was incredibly, you know, the bullet velocity is terrible and the ADS time's kind of off as well. But. To be perfectly honest, ladies and gentlemen, you know, having the thermal scoped AR is, albeit a semi spam weapon, it does add a new addition and a new option for players to have, especially in long range fighting. I mean, it, just, it has a very distinct firing sound as well, so it'll definitely get your attention if you're running around the map and someone tries to snipe at you. Um, you know, you're sort of going to be aware that, you know, it's not just people with sniper rifles anymore. People are going to have thermal ARs. It is a 20 round weapon. It's going to deal damage if people are accurate with it. So you watch yourself out there in the battlefield, ladies and gents. But cow catches are also a nice little addition and can kind of counter this, um, especially if you've got them in your inventory. So think of them as portable cover. So cow catches, basically, like I say, are, port are portable cover that allows, and you can carry two of them in your inventory. You can throw them on the ground just as you would, like healing items, that kind of thing. And when you throw them on the ground, they pop up like tires would. And basically what this provides you with is a very small sort of crouchable defense if you like you can crouch down behind it you can heal yourself if you're in a long range gunfight they aren't much use for short range um so my advice to you in that scenario is to out try and outplay your opponent try and use them as a distraction to sort of like try and get round your opponent throw it right round the back with a shotgun maybe take them out that way the overshield is also a brand new addition to this season too so since you can't build you're not actually able to protect yourself um which leaves you exposed in very large areas of the map and since the map is largely open um it is a significant oversight however the overshield is a permanent armor plate think of it as an as a permanent armor plate that takes a small portion of damage for you before your own shield and health start to be affected uh the overshield after a few seconds uh after a few seconds of being broken will recharge on its own after you've not taken any damage for about five seconds um and it will recharge itself back to full capacity within about 10 seconds uh it just gives you that few extra seconds of reaction time and you know it gives you a chance to sort of figure out how to how you want to engage your enemy in a firefight whether or not you want to run away that kind of thing um so just be wary ladies and gentlemen that's what the whole shield icon is down in the bottom left hand corner next to your health um which you, you'll no doubt know it's in the background video of you know of this video but it's you know it, it's a nice little addition that i kind of like you know it's not just oh shit i've got 100 health 100 shield um you know if i if i start getting beamed i'm i'm kind of screwed here that oh, the overshield like i say gives you that little bit of breathing room to sort of be like yo i've just been hit my health and shield aren't affected though so i'm i'm kind of okay how do i do this so I think I've covered most of what I like. Um, I think I've, I, to be fair, I've most likely f forgot a few things more. Uh, but you guys get the general idea of what I'm trying to get across. Like, you know, me and so many others are enjoying uh, not having to build. And it has brought in a lot of new and returning players, especially content creators like Tim the Tatman, Ninja, etc. You know, that have all sort of like, mm, they kind of went away. But now they've sort of come back to, you know, 
Fortnite a little bit and you know they started to stream it and they've been really enjoying it um and yeah it you know but yeah it's brought in a lot of like sort of returning players especially returning players not so much new players but returning players and i feel that epic have got to keep it as a mechanic or an or a lobby option as it creates new opportunities for not just content creators, but also in-game uh, with the use of uh, the likes of Creative and Battle Lab. Uh, you know, the popularity through, uh, you know, the likes of Twitch on YouTube, that kind of thing, um, is kind of, it, it feels like it's at an all-time high right now. So from a business perspective, it kind of makes sense to keep a building and non-game and, and a non-building game mode available uh, to everyone as it will only benefit Epic going forward. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of the video. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the new season. You know, what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up and share it with your friends, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're new to the channel, hit that big red button underneath the video. It, it would massively help me out and it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I am aiming for 650 to 700 subs uh, before the end of the year. So if you can get me to that goal, you know, you'd literally all be legends. So thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you take care of yourselves and goodbye.